Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I wanna to show you a cool app that I've been playing around with that can quickly grab a picture, delete its background, and you can move it over to other apps like Photoshop or PowerPoint or any of your Google apps. Let me show you in a quick demo here before I dive deeper. So I have this picture here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap a quick picture of this toy monster just like this, and you're gonna see it appear uh, right on the screen, right there. So you can see how fast it deleted the background. Now, what I'm gonna do with my phone is just press on it with my thumb here, and it's gonna pop up because I'm logged in on two different ones uh, onto my screen and onto my phone with the same account. At this point now, I could do, I can just go and drag this on to any app. So I'm in Photoshop right here where I can size it. So I'm gonna show you a few more examples how you can use this today on Teachers Tech. So the app I'm showing you here today is called ClipDrop. It's clipdrop.co. I'll put the link down below in the description so you can check it out. Uh, so you need to install it on your mobile device, whether it be Android or iOS, then you need to install the app on your computer, being Windows or Mac. And today I'm demoing it on my Windows computer. Now, once you get it installed on both, you gotta make sure that you're logged into the same account on both too. So I'm logged into both of the, my same account. So when I uh, just tap on my phone or hold down on the picture, it just pops open on my computer uh, by because I'm using the same account or both. So uh, just you can check out some of the options that it has. I'm going to show you some of the cool features right here in this kind of this quick tutorial of using it. Just so you know, it isn't a free app. I actually did purchase it. Uh, you can test it out for three days free, I believe. Uh, but I did uh, purchase it because I could, saw myself using it quickly to grab, so grab some images, deleting the background and just uh, pulling it over to some other apps, uh, like if I needed it in a presentation. But now uh, let me kind of demo it a little bit more for you. So let me give you another quick demo and this time I'll drag it into a PowerPoint in a Google Docs. I'm gonna take a quick picture here. So I'm gonna just line it up. I can change the frame on this too. So whether you want it to be, uh, how large you want it to be around it, I'm just gonna, and you can turn the flash on. I'm gonna leave it off and just take a quick clip just like that and when, if I look at the top right hand corner, you can see when it has the cloud there, I know it has synced with my computer. So now I know I can press on it and it's gonna uh, go ahead to my computer. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you some of the options down below. You can see where there's delete. Uh, we do have edit where we can change, you know, the landscape, uh, portrait and different parts, even if you wanted a square and you can change the background. I'm just gonna quickly click on a few of color ones. I'm gonna leave this transparent for this example, uh, just like this, and I'll go to the original size. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit okay. Uh, now, all I have to do, remember when it is that cloud, when I see that cloud, I know it's all ready to go. I'm gonna just hold down my thumb on it, and then it pops open right here. So at this point, I can drag it in. So this is a PowerPoint that I just brought it right into. So just like any other images, I can resize it, move it where I want. If I was using Google here, so this is Google Docs, I could just drag it into a Google Docs. So anything that you could put images in, you can quickly use it for that. But there's even more you can do with this. You can use it just off the web too, and I'll show you how. I'm just on pexels.com here and I wanna just demo how you can use this as to capture images off the web and take away backgrounds in a hurry too. So I'm just gonna to go to this image right here and go to a larger size. On my windows, if I go, uh, I need to go to my, uh, to my clip drop app right here. So I'm gonna click on this and it opens up a few more things here. It has clip here. So when, it, when I click on clip now, I can highlight what I want to get. So as soon as I draw it around here, and what you're gonna see is it's gonna open it up and it's gonna remove the background of that image. So there we go. So just from the internet, it was able to quickly drag, uh, quickly grab an image and bring it in. And again, I can bring this into any of the apps that I want, like I showed you before with PowerPoint with a simple drag over. When you open up the app from your computer, you're gonna see that all the images that you took are right here because it's just being moved back and forth between that account. 
Uh, I can go ahead and copy any of these. I can download them out into my computer. I could delete them from here. I could open them back up at any point and drag them into any of the apps that I showed you before. Uh, there's some slight editing you can do uh, from these, from the presets. Uh, you can see that the different, if you wanted the different color backgrounds, uh, but your phone has that just built in. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out on it, and I'll just pop back over to their website. They do have a plugin for Adobe Photoshop that uh, you're supposed to be able to just hover your phone over an area and then it will go uh, right into the camera onto the canvas and it will put uh, different layers. I was playing around with that plugin today, but it had some problems uh, with it working. So I'll keep playing around with that to see uh, if I can get that going. Anyway, I hope you like this little uh, tech tip here today about uh, Clip Drop. I find this a very uh, interesting app and kind of a, could speed up some workflows for you. Uh, thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.